Hello and welcome to Dabbling in Journals. What I thought I'd do today is compare these two pouches, flat cases, pen cases, whatever you would like to call them. And the reason that I'm doing that is because this one is really affordable and this one costs all, more than four times the amount of money. And so I thought it would be interesting to think about whether or not they are comparable. And because this one is slightly different in design to this one, but it's the one I happen to have, there is another design which is more similar to this. And I'll show you that in a picture because I don't actually own that one. But I thought it'd be interesting to, to compare the quality of the two, first of all. So both of these pen cases are made of canvas. This is a slightly coarser canvas and this is a finer canvas. This I can see I've only had it for a week or so and I can already see some wear where the pens are sort of pressing into the canvas. Um, I can't see that on this one so I'm thinking this one is slightly more robust canvas. This is just my opinion. I am not an expert, expert in canvas quality or pen case quality. I'm just sharing my experience with you in case it's helpful in any way. So the other thing I wanted to compare was the zips because I'm real weird about zips. <laughs> I really like zips to be this brassy colour rather than silver. I have no idea why. It's just an idiosyncrasy. But in fact, these two do both have a brassy coloured zip, which I was really chuffed about when I bought this one. I bet I purchased this one first. They're both very chunky, smooth zips, as you can see. Now, this one does say YKK on the zip pull, which is one of the high quality zips. And this one doesn't say anything on the lip pull, but it is just as smooth and just as um, chunky and nice colour. OK, so the next thing to consider, so it just seems to me that in terms of quality, they're very comparable. The stitching's good on this. It's got a nice little leather tag. I think the only thing I don't like about this pen case is this tag. This tag looks a bit scruffy. There's little bits of the cotton hanging. Obviously, it's going to get grubby because of the colour and you, you're using your, your fingers that have probably got pencil dust or something on them. But yeah, I'm not keen on the tag, whereas this one has very posh looking leather tags, which would be no good, of course, if you're a vegetarian. I presume they're leather. They feel like leather. Not keen on that tag. I have put my own little charm. This is a Coffee Monsters Co charm with a little coffee monster person with a teddy bear hat, which I really like because it makes me think of my baby grandson who wears teddy bear hats. But I, what I might do is I might just chop this off and put just a standard pull, you know, um, zip pull on it instead of this that I don't really like. But I mean, that's a very small criticism. And in terms of quality, I think they're really comparable, in my opinion. Now, let's see whether or not I could have fitted what I've put in here into here. Now, this one, because it's such an affordable pencil case, I am not precious about it, as I'm feeling really precious about this. And in fact, whilst I'm doing this video, I might spray it with waterproof spray. I've been trying to pluck up the courage because I think it would be a good idea to protect this. But I'll do that in a bit because once I finish fiddling about with things. So in this one, I keep my pencils. So I've got all my like sketching pencils, some needed eraser, eraser, pencil stumps and a ruler. So that's my sort of sketching kit is all in this pencil case. And can you see where you get all the marks and bits of eraser and look here where I have been keeping pencils in here, you get all grubby graphite. So I wouldn't want to do that in a pencil case that cost the amount that this one cost. Whereas this one, which costs in the UK, it's nine pounds. It's available at coltpens.co.uk, which I think is where I purchased it. It's only nine pounds. So, Obviously, you'll have to convert that to your own currency, but it's really very affordable. Oh, I've just found another little that's a piece of eraser. But do you see how I wouldn't want to use 
a case that cost this amount that was going to get banged up like this. So that's one thing. One reason for wanting to buy an affordable case is that maybe that's all you can afford and you really shouldn't spend money that you don't have. Another reason is that you might want one that you're not going to be too precious about so that you can use it for something like pencils. Okay, now let's look at this one. Now this one, as you can see, is a different style. This is called a wide pencil case and because of the little button on the back and the diagonal zip it, op it opens up really wide so let's see if I put all of my things I've changed that pen it's still a placeholder if you saw my previous video I changed it for a black one. Oh, before I take it all out before I take it all out let's just take a moment to enjoy the journaling eye candy here I really love how this looks I love all the brass I love it the combination of the brass with the black and so on. So I'll come back to that point later. But let's just check that everything would fit in the cheaper alternative. And I've got my clip, a little bitty scissors, a ruler. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it's going to fit, yeah? But what I'm interested to see in is how easy it is to get things in and out. So I put all my bits into this one because I could have bought just another one of these. I didn't even think of it. Do you know what? I didn't even for a second think of it. And I'll explain why in a moment. Now, will this zip up? It certainly will. So everything I've got in here would fit in this little pen case. And then when we unzip it, how easy is it to find your things? Actually, not too bad. The only thing I would be worried about with this pen case, with the design of it, is things getting scratched. So that's one thing to consider. However, there is a solution to that. If you want to go the economical route, but you prefer this style of... Oh, I've missed something. Little pencil, <laughs> pencil blender. If you want to go for this style of pen case, then Lihit Lab, who are very affordable, very good quality, also offer let me see how do i do it this one which is only 12 pounds do you know i've never seen that before i researched it for this video as you can see hope you can see that is in the same canvas as this one there is a choice of colors by the way it's the same canvas it has the same robust zip but it has the open style that this Eureliko one does or Eureliku sorry it has the same sort of open up flat style and pockets as Eureliko so you've got little pockets for your little bits this has one you've got another pocket here and then you've got a pocket configuration instead of this on this side and it comes in let's see what colors does it come in black blue, yellow and red for £12. That looks an excellent pouch and I think would have done the job for me. So why did I buy this one and not the more economical one? Well, one reason is that I had this pen case. I took it, or well, pouch or whatever you want to call it. I'd taken to it, it to a coffee shop. Wasn't quite happy with how it worked for me too bulky, kept falling over on the table, finding it difficult rooting for things. It just wasn't making me 100% happy, even though I love it. I really love it. And I now have it sitting on my desk, looking beautiful with all the bits in that I need on my desk too. So it's not in any way wasted. And I've had it for a long time anyway. So I wanted something smaller. And of course, I've been looking on YouTube and I had seen the Yuriliku pouches on YouTube. And I'd seen, I think, Job's journal. I think Job has one of these, but in the bigger size. I think Adventure Denali has one of these in a slightly bigger size. Toxmart, another person that I watch, has this in a bigger size. <laughs> and I've, just like most, many of us journalists do, especially if we're watching YouTube, you start wanting to own these beautiful things that you see other people have and it looked like when i looked at the site i thought oh i really like this now one benefit i think to this one compared to this one 
is that if you've got expensive pens, this holds them separately. They're not banging against each other because it's stitched down here. So that's where, but I wasn't really thinking about that. I just really saw it, really loved it, decided I'd like it, thought it would fit my purpose. And then the other thing, you're going to think I'm nuts, guys. It matches my bag. Look, this is my superior paper bag. And that just looks so beautiful with it. And it was a colour. If I, if I couldn't have got this colour, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. But it's just, I just thought, well, it was made to go in this bag. So, yes, silly sentimental reasons. But I'm sure if you're watching my channel, you totally understand how they feel like. So I chose it because I wanted this compact size. I really, really loved the colour. I loved the design. I thought this was really handy because I do have a brass pen. <laughs> or well, brass pencil that I just checked in there that will get all scratched up but in this case it will remain sort of what's the word protected it will it will remain more protected so those were the reasons that I chose those and I am very much aware that when you watch watch a youtube video and you see beautiful things that it's very easy to start to want them but maybe they're not in your budget or maybe they're not available to you where you live and i think it's nice to see that there are alternatives and to be perfectly honest i think this pencil case is really lovely let me just take that clip out of the way i think it's really lovely and good for the pen. did you see it's not quite as easy to use as a flat case because look i'm struggling to zip it up this time but I really like it as a pencil case. Now, I wouldn't want two the same because I find that I want different uses for each of my cases and I want to be able to pick it up easily and know what's in it and not to have to open it to see which one is which. So I wouldn't want two exactly the same. If I had been aware of this one, I may well have purchased this one because £12, I mean, that's a quarter, almost a quarter of the price of this one. But I don't regret the purchase. It was a splurge. I spoiled myself and I love it. But the other negative side to purchasing something which you feel is a bit on the pricey side and you can't probably replace if you damage it is that I feel a bit precious with it. So that's why I thought today I would spray this with my waterproof spray and see what happens. Shall I do the inside or the outside first? So I've got this waterproof spray by Out and About and it says it's a fabric protector ideal for tents, clothing, sleeping bags and more. This is more. Ensure object to be treated as free of dirt and dry. Check colour compatibility by testing on an inconspicuous area. Okay. Allow to dry thoroughly, spray uniformly at a distance of approximately 30 centimetres. So, wish me luck, guys. Am I about to wreck my beautiful new pen case? But will it make me calmer if I think that I've protected it with this spray? <laughs> so, I'm going to give it a squirt underneath here. And I don't see anything bad happening. So, I'm just going to... Spray there, spray there. Okay. Oh, that was brave, wasn't it? And then the back. And I'm hoping that that will make me feel less precious with what is, after all, a tool holder that I need to make use of having purchased it. So I'm going to let that dry for a moment. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to show you a lovely unboxing of a Happy Mail that I received from Louise at Coffee Tea Paper. And I am being super spoiled because I have another Happy Mail to share with you. And this one is from Louise. Her channel is Coffee Tea Paper. We met watching each other's channels and now we're Happy Mail friends, which is really good for fun and I'm really excited to see what's inside and she looks like she's been very extravagant Louise because normally you do the sensible little flat normal sized envelopes but this is a large package so she's super spoiling me and I can't wait to see what's inside it I want to save where she's written my name I can cut that out and use it somewhere Ooh, what have we 
we've got here oh wow look at these colors oh my goodness and she's decorated the front of this with a lovely collage oh that i thought it's written that and it's not i can see the shine it's a sticker it's got a sticker with my name on it i wonder if you made that do you have one of those clever machines that can make stickers Look at that sticker with the traveller's notebook on it. And the little Australia stamp. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, I like that pet tape too. Is that the one I've just bought? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, wow, look. It is packed full of goodies. Oh, my goodness. And she's collaged it used washi tape to make the pockets oh it's so beautiful look at that sticker another australia stamp that's a really good idea i don't often get receive letters with stamps on in the uk people i suppose not many people write to me from the uk this book belongs to oh look year of the rabbit Oh, these are so lovely. These are nice. Little calendars. Lovely label. Oh, look at this botanical one. Oh, these are beautiful. So vintagey, rusticy, and lovely. Oh, what's in this one? Look at this. Oh, this is my letter. Oh, I can't read. I can't wait to read that. But I will do that privately. Again, she's used a stamp, little bits of paper. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And what have we got here? Ooh. It's like a notepad with little boxes on it. Lovely. Oh, more of this pet tape. Isn't that lovely? I'm going to use that in my black and white journal. Because that will show it really lovely on black. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I hope she tells me in her letter. It's like got a really unusual texture. In fact, they all have a different texture. Almost like fabric, but... I but I'm pretty sure it's paper. They'll be lovely in my black and white journal too. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Louise. Oh, it's so lovely getting happy mails. And I've got some tea. Rugenic, a real taste of Australia. One biodegradable tea bag. Oh, look what she sent me. <laughs> oh my goodness it's a stamp I thought she just sent me a piece of paper with, with it stamped on but she's actually sent me a stamp did you make this Louise I seem to remember you saying you made this but am I imagining that oh wow thank you so much I'm so excited to receive this Oh, I'm going to have to start my ink swatching book all over again now so that I can stamp this and do my little swatches in it. Oh, I really, really love that. Thank you so much, Louise. Really big thank you. And my tea bag, which I look forward to trying. A fruity mango blend designed with Australian native plants and other ingredients that have been recognised to help relax and calm the mind. This blend is designed to help you focus on the positive aspects of life. That is perfect for me. Perfect. What a lovely tea bag. You see the dolphins? <laughs> and then we have this as well. And I think these just fell out of it. <laughs> oh, look at the coffee. <laughs> That's just fell out of something. All the little coffee pieces. Oh, wow. 
carefully, carefully. Cheers, all is well. Coffee life. <laughs> That's a little person like in the coffee scoop. <laughs> That'd be me, I'd jump in the coffee if I could. <laughs> you know those ball pits? I'd like one of those just made of coffee beans. <laughs> Imagine the smell, it'd be amazing if you could just jump in there. Oh, oh wow, thank you very much. I'm sorry, I think they fell out of somewhere. Let's have a look and see what this is. Oh, I'm so excited for that stamp. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness, Louise. You've gone crazy. Wow. Wow, what a lot of things. I don't know where to start. Oh my goodness. How super kind of you. Would you like a cup of coffee? So good. <laughs> and she's, oh, I don't quite, I don't quite know. I think you've just kind of stuck them all to stop them falling out. Coffee shop. They're all like beautiful little transparent coffee themed stickers. I've never seen so many beautiful coffee stickers all in one place. I think I saw you using some of these. I bet I said I liked them. Well, I will have said I liked them, I'm sure. Oh my goodness me. I don't quite know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to dissemble it. Hold on, there's gotta be it. I don't want to lose anything. There's some more coffee. But this one, oh, I think these are pet. These ones feel like loose stickers. And oh my goodness, this is a camping one. They're pet tapes, aren't they? Oh, and there's stickers falling out. That's what it is. I think it is pet tapes. I am going to take off all of this washi and come back to you. Okay, so look at me. I am the washi tape monster. <laughs> I'm probably going to read in the letter now that I wasn't supposed to untape all of this. <laughs> I don't know, but let's have a look. I think these are all strips of pet tapes. I want to move it out of the way so that I can show you each one. First of all, we have a ginormous. That's not going to show on that colour. Hold on. There we go. We have a ginormous coffee cup. So cool. So cool. And I've got lots of coffee stickers there that I haven't shown you yet either. <laughs> And then pet tapes. Oh my goodness, look at this one. What's the best way to show you? Beautiful, beautiful. And more of that one. Oh, look at these. They're so lovely. Such vibrant colours. And I think these must all come from the same roll. Aren't they gorgeous? What, what a lovely way to send pet tape. It was so exciting because I didn't, I couldn't work out what I was supposed to do. <laughs> and oh wow, and they're so beautiful. I can't wait to use those in my journal. They are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then there's more. Then we have... Ooh, this is from New Zealand. I think it's a kiwi. I think you've used a whole roll of washi tape making this, Louise. <laughs> it's a sticker from New Zealand. Ooh, I love the colour because it's orange. Louise and I both love orange. I just took that out because I thought it might be glaring under my light and it's still shiny, I think, but it's a beautiful kiwi. 
with an orange background from New Zealand. How lovely is that? And then these beautiful coffee rings and coffee splashes. Oh, they're so lovely. Absolutely love those. Totally, totally, totally my taste. Absolutely love them. Thank you so much. There's so many things here. And then this one, look, camping. I love camping. Louise knows I love camping. I've still got another coffee sticker. Oh, look. Oh, I hope it's not glaring too much. I don't know whether to switch my light off. Oh, I don't think it is. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have more camping stickers. Oh, look, they've even got watercolour paints to take camping. And coffee cups. I've never even seen this anywhere. It's so lovely to get a happy mail where you've not seen any of the things before. Well, I'd seen the stamp because Louise has one. Oh, wow. Deck chair. <laughs> Definitely get seagulls wherever we go camping. notebook one on it that's amazing so it's camping pet tape for people who love travelers notebooks wow absolutely love that louise oh and look i've got some more of these oh you're so generous <laughs> Oh, I think they're slightly, are they slightly different or the same? I feel, let me get them the other ones back. Yeah, they're slightly different, look. Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. How on earth am I not going to hoard them, Louise? How will I, how will I not? <laughs> oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, they're so lovely. Oh, and these are, these are more coffee, gorgeous coffee stickers. I've not seen these ones before. I know this brand and I've had stickers from this brand, but I haven't seen this sheet anywhere before. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to want to hoard those too. Absolutely lovely. And then the stickers that were all falling out were all these lovely, gorgeous Coffee stickers. Look at me, call the washy monster. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. You've made my day, Louise. I think I can see them all now. They're all out on my desk. Wow. All I can say is, wow, that was a, such a fun, happy mail. I am so grateful and so appreciative. And I'm especially appreciative of the fact that you sent me this lovely stamp and that you broke your rule because it wouldn't fit in a flat envelope, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, love it, love it. I will try it out shortly. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. What I've got here is my Ink Swatch journal, which is in a Medicaid leather, pocket size journal. And I did do a video where I was swatching all my inks that I purchased, which I've had such a spending spree lately. <laughs> I'm totally stopping now. And I really enjoyed doing that. But then, as you saw, Louise sent me her hand-carved stamp, which she made herself, and it's just perfect for swatching inks. And then I remembered that I had this little teeny tiny book. This is Tomoe River Paper. I bought this so long ago. I don't think they're available anymore, which is a bit sad. I don't like to show things that aren't available anymore, but you could always make your own little tiny book if you wanted one and you had some tomorrow river paper. So what I thought I would do is try out my new stamp in here and then I may swatch my inks again <laughs> in this new little book. This is my Caramel Sparkle Shimmer Ink by Diamine. Diamine. Diamine, diamine, no clue how you say it. And I've got somewhere over here a Versamagic ink pad. So I'm going to start by obviously 
trying out my new stamp, which is really exciting. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm scared. so chuffed with that oh right okay <laughs> i am now going to take my ink in fact i'm going to write first because i'm going to let that ink that i stamped with dry so let me write first what this ink is and then emily suggested that instead of swatching with a cotton bud which is what i was doing because that's what i see other people do she said i would find it easier with a paintbrush so let's see Let's give that a try too. Thank you for the suggestion, Emily. And I've shaken up the ink. Oh, kind of scared. And let's swatch the ink. Ooh, good suggestion, Emily. Wow. too much now and the great thing is that one that works really well and two I'm not having to use disposable cotton buds so thank you for that Emily really good idea I don't know why I never have good ideas <laughs> so there is my swatch which needs to take time to dry obviously this is Tamari River paper, so it shouldn't have gone through, and it hasn't. So that's really cool. And I absolutely love this stamp. <laughs> I really love it. Thank you so much, Louise. I am going to fill this little book with that stamp and keep a record of all my different ink colours in it. And it's such a tiny little book, I can put it in any journal that I please, which is really cool. So last, last but not least, let's just check but I didn't ruin <laughs> my little pen case, which is now dry and looks absolutely fine. And obviously it's going to get damaged and crinkled and aged. And that's part of the joy of owning canvas. So I am going to have no problem with that. I just, I don't know, because it was new, I was feeling a little bit precious with it. So I am just going to pop back all my things. And there we go, everything is back in my pencil case, all ready for me to take out and try. So look out for that video when I do that. And I think my ink swatch is also dry. Oh my goodness, that sparkle. I so love this ink, the Diamond Caramel Sparkle. So thank you everybody for watching. Let me know in the comments if you decide to purchase one of, this, one of these pouches. I will link everything I mentioned down below. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.